Hello everyone, I'm Nancy Allen and welcome to today's edition of the Tuesday Toolbox. I have the pleasure of having Jean Tyre with me. Um, Jean is the VP of the Tampa Bay Office of Mutual of America and she has been there for 23 years? Yes. Great. And today we're going to be talking about retirement plans. Lots of information for small business owners. Um, it's all about providing the best services and opportunities for uh, your employees. And Jane has some really important information to share with us. Retirement plans seem so complicated. The rules, the regulations, the administrative burdens, and the costs involved. Sometimes we wonder, is it really worth it for us to set up retirement plans? I definitely think it is worth it. There are three points that you want to think about when you think about a retirement plan. The first one is that people need to start saving, especially females. Females, unfortunately, don't have a high enough retirement savings account when they're ready to retire, and we'd like to change that. Two, with a well-designed plan, you can retain and attract new employees. By attaining and attracting new employees, they think first about taking the job if they have a good retirement plan, and two, if they're currently working, they're more likely to stay because of the good employer's retirement plan. By doing this, you're able to have less turnover, which means you're not spending as much time and money on retaining and attracting new employees. Um, in your experience, what's the biggest mistake the head of a company can make in selecting a retirement provider? That's easy. The biggest mistake in choosing a provider is based solely on cost. You mean if I just go by the cost of the plan, you think that that's a, a, a mistake? I should be looking at much more than just the cost of the plan. Definitely. You definitely should look at more, look at the services that are being provided to the employees as well as to you. What are those key services that you want from a retirement plan provider? There are many different plan providers and retirement plans out there. You want a provider that's going to provide a full range of plans so you can adopt one that best fits your company and your employees. Personal one-on-one -on -one service for you and your employees. One point of contact for your employees to call, talk to, email. Preferably, this contact will be able to come and sit down with the employees as well as someone that doesn't work on commissions. You also want a sound investment platform. Provide ongoing education, offer a prototype plan, which is less costly for the employees, and someone that's going to work with you to help you with plan design, and also looking at a reasonable price for services. Ideally, you want a bundled provider that's going to help you with all of the different services, one that's going to look at your costs. You want to find out what your charges are, what the fees are going to start with. Are there any transfer fees, any startup fees? Is there any cost for administration? IRS plan documents, 5500s, audits, are there any costs for your employees like withdrawal surrender charges? You want to find those things out before you sign. And do, do most um, retirement plan providers provide that? Should I ask for those things in writing before I sign on the dotted line? Yes, definitely. Those are things that you should find out up front and also employers should or providers should be providing you with what's called a fee disclosure that has all of that information up front that's required. Great. And then in, in your opinion, what is the most important thing an employer can do to help ensure that their employees uh, will be retirement ready? The best thing is to get people to start early and as soon as possible, put as much money in. The number one reason for people not being ready for retirement is procrastination. Mm -hmm. And so you wanna get people to start as soon as possible and save as much as they can. Once they're able to do that, they'll be able to be ready for retirement. To help them with that, it's best to put in for an employer match or do automatic enrollment. Automatic enrollment allows you to put people in right away, and then you can also put in auto escalation that helps them each year increase their contributions so they're saving for retirement and they're appreciating the value you're providing to them. Mm -hmm. And how about if um, it's a small, a small company, right? So I have two other employees in my company. Are we too small to set up a retirement plan? Is there a, um, a minimum number of employees that we have to have? No, it just depends on what type of plan you want. If you want to allow the employees to contribute as well as you making a match, that's a simple IRA. 
if you want to just do if just for employer contributions, that would be a SEP and you can start them with as little as one employee. Great. Well, thank you very much. Um, Jane, you've given us lots of great information to think about um, and we'll have you back soon, I hope, to talk about investment plans. Definitely. Thank you very much for your time. This is Nancy Allen and I thank you for listening to our Tuesday Toolbox um, with Jean Tyre of Mutual of America. See you next time. Thanks. <laughs>